question as the win was Rosie Wilson Justice Building. Wonder how much it cost to put his name on there. And uh, as you can see, these houses got quite a bit of roofing damage. Not to mention as the wind was rotating, I'm sure a lot of it came off the church and just spun around. And a lot of the crap that's uh, plastered onto the windows is actually insulation. Yep, that's what it is. Very light, very easy to move around. But that's what a lot of the material is stuck to people's windows. It's insulation. For your information, a couple broken windows. Look how it just lifted up the sidewalk. <laughs> and again, this is from a few days of rain before the tornado, so the ground was still pretty wet, which made it easy to uproot trees. But look how that, how, I mean, if the, if the tornado stuck around this house just for maybe an extra five seconds, it would have completely leveled all that. That's incredible. The power of wind. And I've been in wind where it's 30, 35, 40, 50 mile an hour wind gusts. But I mean, <laughs> 100 to 130 miles an hour, that's, that's all new to me. I don't know where McMahon is having, is doing all his work, maybe from home. But, look at those trees. They should leave at least one of the trees up for that. I think they should leave a few of them up. But the VFW got really little damage, which is a good thing. But as you can see, they got little damage on the VFW. That's a very historic building. Like I said, a lot of old buildings, old houses. A lot of them are just going to crap because the owners don't take care of them. Maybe now they will. <laughs> that tree got uprooted. Look how that tree just got twisted. That's incredible power. They cut it off from the top, but look at that. Just twisted. That's incredible. No word yet on what they're going to do with this house, but <laughs> it was kind of a crappy house before the tornado, and now it's just crappier. Siding damage. Spectrum. Gotta get everybody's internet going. <laughs> and St. Peter's Church on North James Street sustained no damage, except for probably the loss of electricity. That'll be a storm shelter to go into the next time there's a tornado. Huh. 
But see how I mean some of the stained glass is still intact? I mean, if they're going to tear the church down, be a good idea to save the stained glass. I've always liked this church. This is probably my favorite church besides the one near uh, the north, uh, well, the yeah, the north end of Chestnut Street. There's a big church, and I uh, can't remember the name of that one, but that one I'd like to. But this one I've always liked, just big. Plus, I like the name of it, Mary. But well, you see what I mean? How the building just bulged right out. Right near the door, that looks like an arrow. That's the building that's bulging out. And it's just cracked right down the line. It almost looks like a diamond shape. But all that is going to either... I mean, they're going to have to replace all that. So, occupying this building would be a big no-no. I don't know. The, the door is wide open there. I don't know if the police have noticed that. Probably not. But, I mean, pretty easy to get past this fence. It wouldn't be much of a problem to get over this fence or under it or through it. But this is another idea right here. I mean, if the wind stayed over this building just a few seconds longer, this entire roof would have been off. I mean, it was just literally trying to lift the roof up. Nice shot with the sun. <clears throat> Damage. Not sure if that church got damaged or not. I don't see any visible damage. The Bosey's building. Well, the Kabari, I believe it's called. Uh, alternative Health Medicine. Look at all that debris, though. Wow. Just removed it right off the roof. Where you going? Get back here. <laughs> and right now they're just covering the roof so it doesn't get any more water damage and this is Liberty Street They're expecting more thunderstorms tonight, but I'm not sure on that. Maybe we will. I'm no meteorologist, but I mean, we got blue sky right now and the thunderstorms are staying to the east of us and to the west. But I mean, this was like a direct hit by the wind and the roof caved in. <laughs> as it was getting peeled off. Like I said, all the flat roofs in the city got more damage than the arched roofs. And hey, you need a roof repair? Call Storm Wrappers. 1-888-RAPPIT. Or go to the stormwrappers.com website. That's pretty cool, see, damaged roof. And that's when they 
cover it up. It's pretty neat. That was the infomercial for this video. <laughs> Kabari Wellness Institute, Kabari Chiropractic, Corrective Stretch, Start to Fit, Functional Restorative Room, Massage Therapy, Physical Therapy, Food Nutrition, Consultation, Wellness Shop, Wellness Cafe. I sure as hell hope they had good insurance. And they haven't been there that long, which tells you, you know, <laughs> kind of sad they haven't been there at this location very long, but they already have to use the insurance. And I don't know what they're doing with the bus garage if they got the road closed, uh, the bus stop here. But that's a lot of damage. The statue that was in the, the front of the building, the lobby area, that was destroyed. Uh, one, two, three stained glass windows uh, facing the west side destroyed. Incredible, incredible damage. And most people that watch a video only watch, you know, a few seconds of it, or they don't even bother to read the description of a video. So they're not getting the entire story. I mean, a lot of comments left on videos with the uh, Rome concerning the Rome, New York uh, tornado. They say, oh, whoop de do a, a few tree limbs and some roofing shingles. Well, you need to uh, take time out of your busy video game